Chapter 8 Historical Research by Rachel P. Solitario Bliss 3A Historical Research A number of researchers, including some historians, have argued that historical research cannot be considered true scientific research because it does not permit enough precision and objectivity. Nature and value of historical research Historical research can still be defined as a scholarly attempt what has happened. Historical research or documentary research as it is sometimes labeled although historical research and is not limited to documents, typically goes beyond mere description and attempts to interpret the facts as reconstructed. Chronology. Chronology can be defined as simply the describing of events in the order of their occurrence, a process similar to the older concept of historical research. Importance of historical research to librarianship. Historical research can make specific contributions to the advancement of library and information science. Historical research can contribute to the body of knowledge about librarianship. It can I increase our understanding of how, when, and why past events occurred. And it can expand our appreciation of the significance of these events. Types of historical research. Hillway identifies six different types of historical research or documentary study. One biographical research to histories of institutions and organizations. Three the investigation of sources and influences for editing and translating historical documents. Five studying the history of ideas. Six compiling bibliographies. Sources of historical information. The data gathered in historical research can come from a wide variety of sources. 1. Official records, such as laws, deeds, annual reports of organizations, charters and so on. 2. Newspapers and other periodicals. 3. Eyewitness accounts of events. 4. Archives. 5. Manuscripts. 6. Letters and personal diaries. 7. Biographies, autobiographies, and memoirs. 8. Historical studies. 9. Literary writings. 10. Oral evidence. 11. Memorials. 12. Catalogues. 13. Schedules, agendas. 14. Archaeological and geological remains non documents. Evaluation of historical sources. The researcher should want to know if the sources are relevant to the study, substantial enough to be worthwhile, and competent, i.e., genuine, accurate, and reasonable. The assessment of the last criterion, competency, should involve the basic processes external criticism and internal criticism. External criticism, external criticism, or the gathering of external evidence, is done to determine if a source in fact provides authentic primary data. Internal criticism, internal criticism is generally more challenging than external criticism, and it too is often difficult, if not impossible, to achieve with absolute certainty. Basic steps of historical research 1. Identification of a problem of historical significance 2. Collection of background information i.e. literature review of the secondary sources 3. Formulation of a hypothesis when possible more. More on this later 4. Gathering of evidence or data including verification of the authenticity of the primary sources and the validity and reliability of their contents. 5. Organization and Annally. 5. Organization and analysis of the pertinent data more often qualitative than quantitative. 6. Interpretation of the findings or the drawing of conclusions. The hypothesis in historical research. The hypothesis provides a basis for considering various factors in relation to one another and for synthesizing them into a generalization or conclusion that puts their overall significance in focus. Collecting the data. This process also often involves the comparing and reconciling of information gathered from two or more sources. Library history. Historical research conducted in library up and information science has often been referred to as library history. Shiflet defines library history as a rubric 
that covers a myriad of topics associated with libraries and other information. Busha and Hata note that library history is commonly applied to an account of events that have affected any library or group of libraries, as well as to the social and economic impacts of, libra of libraries on their communities. Bibliographical research in the area of scholarly work that some consider to be a special type of historical research is bibliographical research. Systematic bibliographic their purpose is to assemble information about individual works into a logical and useful arrangement. Descriptive bibliography An important function of descriptive bibliography is to describe the ideal copy or primary document and its variants. Problems in historical research A variety of problems are common to most types of research, but tend to be particularly important in historical research. 1. Deciding how much data are enough. 2. Improperly selecting data. 3. Relying too heavily on secondary sources of information. 4. Investigating an overly broad problem. 5. Failing to evaluate adequately the historical data and their sources. 6. Failing to interpret the data. 7. Reading the present into the past even though the historical data may not support such an interpretation. Other problems in historical research and criteria for evaluating historical research can be drawn from the general research guidelines discussed earlier in this work. Thank you and God bless.